right. These fucking people are weird, right? So there's this guy. He's called Hannes. He's German. Um, and he lives like in the village where I live, right? And he was a friend of my mum and my dad's, yeah. Um, and his wife's just died, and he's all alone and stuff, right? And like whatever, like he's just somebody that I knew through my mum and dad. And like yesterday, he turns up at my door. And he comes and he wants to talk, right? So we sit and we talk and like I've known him for years, do you know what I mean? Like as a kid I used to go around to their house and I used to have German food and we used to sit and like he's like he supports like Bayern Munich football team and I used to sit and watch Bayern Munich football matches with him and like whatever, they were friends of the family and I've known them for years, right? Yeah. And he turns up on my door yesterday and he's like, he wants to talk and he's like, I'm lonely, like my wife's died, how do I find girls and stuff? And I was like, whatever, if I had an, if I had a fucking solution of how to find girls, I think I'd have found one for myself, I'm single. But whatever, like we sat for hours talking and we had a really good discussion and stuff, right? And then like this morning, I, I was like, I like wanted to talk to him like because he said like he'd met these girls but like they weren't really interested in him so I was basically going to go around and say like why, why don't you introduce me to these girls maybe I can like what have them anyhow right so I turn up at his house this morning and like yeah to be fair it was quite early it was like seven o'clock in the morning but I was thinking like whatever he's like nearly 90 like older people generally get up pretty early so like seven o'clock's probably not that early so anyhow i turn up at his house and his house is like it's got all these like security fences around it and there's like a button that you press to like whatever uh, like uh, get their attention or whatever so i press this button and i'm not getting any any fucking response from him so basically i climb over the fence and i go and i knock on the door and he, he turns up and he's like what the fuck are you doing i'm like whatever like you didn't ans answer the bolt thing so i just knocked on your door so he invites me inside i come inside and then he starts having a go at me for like turning up so early and i'm like i'm sorry but like i thought like older people get up earlier do you know what I mean? I didn't think it would be that early for you. He's like, whatever. And it's, then he rings the police. <laughs> he rings the police. He starts saying, this guy's jumped over my fucking wall. Whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you on about? Right? I basically jumped over to knock on your door. Like, what is the problem? So he rings the police. Right, and then he starts ringing some other guy. I don't know who this guy is. Somebody he knows, saying somebody's broken into my house. I'm like, what are you on about? I am broken into your house. <laughs> I just knocked on your door. Why are you being like this? And I'm like, Hannah's like, m whatever you've known me since I was a child. I've known you for years and years. Like, I've just knocked on your door to come and talk to you. Why are you acting like this? Like, oh no, you've broken into my house. I'm like, I haven't broken into any house. I knocked on your door. And, you know, he rings the police. So then the police turn up, right? And, like, I basically get ex escorted out of the house. As if, like, <laughs> oh, God, this is just insanity, right? I don't, I don't know what it is with old people. But, like, I basically knocked on his door because i wanted to talk to him and suddenly he rings the police the police turn up i get escorted out of the thing as if i'm some kind of criminal invading his house this is just insanity